The House of the Dead. The House of the Dead 2 is a classic arcade shooter that has been ported to many systems, including the PC. But does the PC version revive the excitement of the arcade? Or should it have stayed dead? The story begins with two government agents working for the AMS. AMS? I wonder what that stands for. Awesome Monster Squad? Acute Mountain Sickness? American Mathematical Society? Eh, uh, probably the first one. The generically named James and Gary are suddenly confronted by the world's most annoying imp. With the streets crawling with the undead, the zombie shooting begins. As you'd expect, headshots take the zombies down faster. Gloriously, every arm, leg and torso can be blown to smithereens. You can even blast the bellies off the fattest zombies around. Not to mention zombies with shirts, zombies without shirts, watery zombies, zombies with chainsaws, you name it. If you haven't got a light gun, using the mouse is the next best choice. Although, this can make things too easy. Since you can reload with a simple click of the right mouse button, you can fire and reload much faster than the game was ever designed for. If you're in a masochistic mood, you can also choose the keyboard for reduced accuracy and awkward controls. Hey, maybe you'll achieve a new low score. Ha 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 ha! You have a puny score, my keyboard using friend! The game is best with two players, but it's unlikely that both players will have a good control scheme on the same computer. You can play over your network, but good luck actually getting this to work. Also, typing in your IP address is pretty cumbersome. It sounds exciting though. Taste my IP address, suckers! The zombie shooting is the best in the business, and there's no denying that it's fast, fun and satisfying. Not every aspect of the game is this good though, because this game contains some of the worst, worst voice, voice acting, acting of all time! time. It's like they're inviting us in. Yeah, I know what you mean. I always leave a bowl of zombies out for my guests. How could anyone do this? 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 AMS. How could anyone do this? But the weirdness doesn't stop with monotone voice acting. Thanks to some dodgy translation, lines were as ill-written as they are ill-delivered. Thank you! I'll open the water gate for you! Don't come! Don't come! James, go and prevent the confusion in the city. Okay. Power still coming. Amy, Harry! Amy, Harry! Amy, Harry! Amy, Harry! Amy, Harry, are you alright? For trained agents, the boys at the AMS seem quite slow on the uptake. It seems that Goldman left a message for us. What? From Goldman? Well, he says that he'll be waiting at the Coliseum. The Coliseum? And there's nothing quite like wooden animation to ram home bad voice acting. We're counting on you, Gary. Uh-oh, I don't know how to deal with the girls. But when it comes to truly bad voice acting, there's one character who stands head and shoulders above the others. <laughs> People of the AMS, I am Goldman. Behind the zombie catastrophe is the mysterious mastermind Goldman. Hurry, friends. Whose plan seems to involve sitting down, getting up, and sitting down again. <laughs> this is a present from me to you. At least the AMS agents were excited to see Goldman, in a rather strange way. Goldman! Goldman! Is that all you have to say? What's wrong with everybody in this game? They act like robots. Wait a minute, maybe they are robots! Building at point A0063. Point A0063 is just ahead. Goldman! 
Bruce's Microsoft Sav. Dogs of the AMS. Time they made a move. Dogs of the AMS. Time they made a move. At last you've come. Friends. At last you've come. Friends. Farewell, friends. Farewell, friends. It's a draw! Although the voices are awful, the music is top-notch, keeping your punks racing as you mow down zombies. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. Take that, zombies. The main story can be played through in arcade or original mode. Original includes unlockable bonuses like more powerful shots and extra credits, while Arcade Mode gives you an unadulterated arcade experience. Also included is a boss mode, in which you can obviously duel all the bosses, and a rock hard training mode to hone your skills. Failed. Or to fail at. And although the game is short, there's plenty of replay value in the form of multiple paths you can take through each level. Thanks. You can get outside that way. The PC version of The House of the Dead 2 is still great fun, but without a light gun you'll never quite recapture the excitement of the arcade. The game is available at some truly bargain bin prices, so if you like to shoot zombies and don't mind listening to some truly world class bad voice acting, <laughs> feel free to pick this one up. Farewell friends. <laughs>